So tonight we are talking about this. So if some of you don't have it, it's Progescence Plus. There's a little bit of a glare. Progescence Plus. I love this stuff. Um, so Progescence Plus, if you are a woman and you have hormones and you have a monthly visitor, uh, you need this oil. So for all women, any age, any stage, just a great, great thing to be incorporating. Um, so what is it? Progescence Plus actually isn't just an essential oil. It is a serum that contains essential oils. So it's plant-based, it's natural, and it contains copaiba, sacred frankincense, love that, cedarwood, clove, bergamot, peppermint, and then it also contains coconut oil, vitamin E, and USP grade progesterone, but it's not synthetic. It comes from a wild yam extract, which is really, really important. Um, I love that Young Living has thought about women's health and women's hormones and our happiness, right? Because uh, when our hormones are in balance, obviously our moods are better and we are just happier individuals. So I'm sure um, our families appreciate this as well. So most women, when tested, actually have very low progesterone levels or zero, which is not a good thing. And I could get into all the specifics of that and the, the benefits of having really healthy levels. And I can also get into like the, you know, the other side of it where if you don't have good levels, what can ha happen? Um, but that's like a whole other topic. So you could Google that. Basically, it's just bad, really, really bad. And things that I can't mention because of like FDA compliance, I have to kind of keep things, there are certain things I'm not allowed to talk about, but just think about, you know, that name that we don't all want to talk about as women, um, especially with our, with our health and just our woman parts, like things we don't want to have happen. Um, so just Google that and trust me, there's just a ton of information about having healthy progesterone levels. Um, so basically, you know, healthy levels are good and low levels are just bad. And then um, synthetics also carry a lot of side effects. So there's a lot of people who will be put on synthetic progesterones, but they carry all their own side effects. So the benefits of using um, Progescence Plus are it harmonizes and supports our emotions. Awesome. Supports health and hormones during those monthly visits. So right before, um, we have like, you know, that time of the month, our hormones really drop. Um, and so it's really important to be adding in these levels and keeping them higher, um, which can help with all sorts of symptoms that we experience during those times of the month. Um, so it also supports a calm and happier mood, supports healthy and youthful looking skin, uh, supports normal monthly cycles. So if you can think about all the things that can happen in those monthly cycles, I know after I had Isaiah, I was just all over the place. My body was so out of whack. It's like it couldn't find its rhythm again. And I was ex just experiencing all sorts of unpleasant things. So um, progestins and progesterone can really help with some of those. Um, it also helps just um, a healthy libido. So if your progestins or your progesterone is really low, Think about just being in the mood and, you know, intimacy, all those things are really, really going to be affected because you're just, your body's like saying no, you know, <laughs> all those hormones are a really good thing and they keep everything healthy. So, you know, those are, those are good things. We want a healthy libido. We want to be, as women, we want to be in the mood. We want to have those things be healthy. Um, so this is not an essential oil, like I said. So you, for using it, you do not want to diffuse it uh, because it contains other ingredients besides essential oils. You do not want to put this into your diffuser and it is not for internal use. It is for topical use only. So it can be used topically as a perfume. There's a lot of women who really love the smell of it and like to use it as a perfume. So they'll put it like behind their ears or on their wrists and that's how they'll use it daily. Um, but it's best to apply to thin skinned areas of the body. So your neck, especially where that like carotid artery is, is a really good place to apply it. Uh, behind the ears, on the wrists. Um, I use my forearms each night. Um, or especially your lower tummy is a great place to apply, especially during that time of the month because it's just going to give that support directly to the area that you need it. Um, and you can add a few drops to your moisturizer. And I just learned this when I was doing, I love doing research for these classes because I learned so much about these oils I didn't know, but you can add it to your moisturizer. The sacred frankincense is um, super supportive of having smooth skin um, and smooths out those fine lines. And the yam extract and vitamin are super um, supportive of healthy skin. So you can massage it just directly into your skin. 
I use it to help get things on track when we are trying. Yeah. So if you are trying to get pregnant, um, you know, it, it, it's not like a, yes, it will definitely help you. But when your hormone levels are, you know, balanced and in the right levels, that's a perfect environment for, for making babies. So that's why I said in the disclaimer of this class, when you start supporting your body and start supporting your hormones and start eliminating chemicals and toxins and all those things that really work against our bodies, um, it's a good place to make babies. Definitely. Um, yeah, I know a ton of women who've had like awesome experience with, um, using progesterone, progestins plus, I keep saying progesterone, progestins plus and yeah, nine months later, you know, little baby. So it definitely helps. Definitely helps. Um, so when you're using it, you don't want to apply more than twice a day and on the bottle, it'll, it'll say like two to four drops. Um, I, when I first started it and I would recommend this because it is hormones and you are changing things in your body, you want to be slowly introducing this. So, um, I started with just rolling it on my arm and as you can see, I took my bottle and I put this little, it has this little black cap on it. So I put a little roller fitment on it because it just makes it super easy to use because when I have to use drops of oils, I'm like getting them all over the place. So I put this little roller fitment on there and um, it just makes it super easy. I just swipe on my arm. It's probably less than a drop when I first started and then I would just like rub it together. So now I do like a few swipes and then I just rub my arms together. Um, you don't have to change the location of application with this like you do with some essential oils to kind of rotate them so they don't lose their effectiveness. You can just keep using it in the same place. Um, and it's, <laughs> I know, I, same with me. That's why I did this as a ladies only class because I feel like we're going to be going over a lot of things that might be too much information to be sharing with um, opposite gender or just doing more live on my personal page like I did before with just the basic oils. Um, I really wanted to give women freedom to share and so this is the first time I've done this and I'm so really excited. Um, the other thing is is that I would just, I would start slowly with this. Um, disclaimer, it made me a crazy person the first week. I know that my hormones were totally out of whack and as I was balancing out and kind of like finding that normalcy and just my body adjusting, it made me a little crazy. It made me sensitive to noise, sensitive to smell, sensitive to touch. It was almost like having severe PMS syndromes. But now I really stuck with it and I, I even just skipped a few days here and there if I felt like it, I just needed a rest. Um, after about two, two, three weeks, I feel like nothing um, is bugging me anymore. Like I feel normal again. Um, and I can tell the difference. I, I sleep better. Um, my energy levels are better. Um, I don't have a, I don't have like a period yet because I'm still nursing a baby, but that could be returning soon. And I'm really hoping that will be normal. Um, just so many things and I really struggle with sleep. So I use it. At, I started out using it at night because it can cause sleepiness in some people. And so I started using it at night because I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be like conking out in the middle of the day when I first started using it. And it can cause a little bit of dizziness. If you are someone who struggles with like blood pressure, low blood pressure as your body's normaling out, it can just cause, you know, some dizziness. So it's better to start using it at night is what I, I think. Um, but great for anyone. Um, and then, uh, let me see what else. And just make sure you read the label. And if you have any concerns or questions, like consult your doctor. I am not a doctor. I'm not here for this class to like treat, prescribe, diagnose, cure, anything. Um, and all of the things that we will be talking about are only Young Living oils that I'm suggesting using. And um, if you have any concerns or questions or special uh, situations, really talk to your doctor. Um, so I think I kind of already showed you how I apply it. I haven't used it yet today. So I will, I just um, roll it on my arm with the little roller footment and then I just rub it together. And I think it smells really good. I like some of the essential oils in there. So I see why some people would use it for their morning application um, as like a perfume and just put it like on their neck or on behind their ear or on the wrist. Um, there's one other thing, and because of California and our crazy laws, I just wanted to cover because someone asked me recently, Prop 65 is like all about labeling and warnings and all that. So Progescence Plus gets uh, lumped in with all those synthetic progesterones. And so because um, California and the FDA and all that regulation, they don't differentiate between natural and synthetic. But if you just Google and you will not find 
the same problems that you find with the synthetics. But because they lump it together, they have to put this warning when it comes that it can cause, you know, certain things. But just go to Young Living's website, go to the product, read all the information, and it will explain why those warnings are on there. And honestly, it doesn't really apply to a wild yam extract progesterone that is naturally occurring and that is plant-based and that our body works with really well, whereas synthetics, uh, all sorts of side effects and just nasty stuff can happen um, because our body is it's synthetic. It doesn't work with our systems as well. So um, that is Progescence Plus. Um, it has been an amazing, um, amazing thing that I have incorporated. I It's probably been one of my favorite like womanly things that I have used from a young living. It has made such a huge difference. Um, you know, just all sorts of things like from getting head tension to um, stomach stuff to just all sorts of things. I felt like it has just brought this like balance. Whereas before I was just all over the place and I wish that I had maybe known about this after I had Isaiah because I really experienced some severe like postpartum depression, um, mood swings, just all sorts of stuff that maybe um, you know, balancing out my hormones and knowing some of this stuff would have really helped because um, I really struggle with that. And I think the majority of women do because um, if you really want to know your levels, you can go and get them tested and find out. But majority of women, when they have them tested and they find out, um, they either have zero or it's extremely low. And if you, it causes all sorts of things, just like some things I, I can't mention because of like FDA compliance, but there's just so much information if you Google. Um, so many things that having healthy levels can prevent as women um, that I know that I don't ever want to have to deal with. So I want to be like on the front end of things. I want to be on the, the um, what would be like, not the defensive, but I want to be on the offensive. I always want to be, you know, supporting my body instead of like treating all these things that could happen because I didn't support my body. And so to me, these things are really worth um, the investment. So like this, I think with like a discount, it's about like $35, um, which can really seem like a lot. And I totally get that for like budget, but, um, I've had this already for like two months. And if you can see like how much I've used and I'm, I'm still only using it about once a day, but I'm just increasing it. Um, even at that, like if you look at what can happen, if your hormone levels are not in a great place and, and supporting your body to me, I feel like it was just totally worth the investment. Um, and it lasts for like a super long time. So I do see some of you that are jumping on now. I hope that if you have any questions um, and if you go back and watch the replay from the beginning, it's such great information. Um, you will ask questions and um, because I really want this to be a place where we can just ask a ton of questions and um, I can answer them or if I don't know, I will find out for you because I have an amazing group of ladies that I'm a part of that I get to go and um, get information from. So anyways, um, I want to keep this short. I'm so happy to see some of you guys. You're all just like jumping on now. Um, and I'm, I'm, my video, live video may not always be at the exact same time every day. I'm kind of testing this out and with family and kids and all that. Um, so hopefully you guys can jump on when I'm on and, or watch the replay and still post your questions. So say thank you so much. And I will be updating a table of contents so you can find all the information quickly. And then I will be posting all this information that I talked about so you can read through it because I don't know about you, but I love to be able to read and I love to be able to see, and I love to be able to hear when I'm learning about new things. And I'm just a huge researcher. So I love to just give like all the information that I've learned because I think when we're dealing with our bodies and adding in new things that can be a little scary, um, it's good to really have all the information so then we feel like, okay, I'm making the best decision for myself because we are our own best um, health advocates, in my opinion. So anyways, I hope you guys, ladies have a great evening and um, post away and ask your questions. And I will talk to you again tomorrow night with a new topic. So good night, ladies.